All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome to some Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta gameplay. Domination. Now, in this video, we're going to be playing on the map Hunted. I think there's only like three maps in the beta, or at least the ones I've been playing are the same three in cycle, which is kind of weird. But um, so far, I'm just going to give you my first impressions of this, and we'll see what, you know, like what I think of it. But before we start, I just want to say that I have like two codes for PS4 and they are North American codes only. So if you would like one, just leave me your PSN ID and uh, I'll pick a few people or like two people in a few hours and I'll send you a message uh, in game. So just to let you make sure you actually have a PlayStation and you're not using the code for something else. But um, yeah, in this game, you're going to be watching some domination. It was actually a close game. Uh very close i'm not going to spoil if we won or lost but my team was really bad and it's way too early to be having panic attacks in call of duty with terrible teammates but um yeah this map is pretty big and the gameplay was i wouldn't say it's too fast paced but it's like balance kind of on the slower side um the maps i've been playing overall are pretty solid actually i enjoyed it and um, there's a thing they implemented in Smoke. Black Ops 3, it's like your special ability. Um, what it is, is like once you get a certain number of points, uh, along with your kill streaks or point streak, whatever you want to call it, you have this thing where you could do your super attack and you get to pick from like five or ten different supers, which is pretty neat. Well, in the beta, you're limited to like five of them. But, um, yeah, one of them, the one I'm using, it's called Gravity Spikes. And what it does is kind of like a slam attack. Uh, if I were to compare it to anything, it's like the Titan in Destiny, where you get to do your ground slam thingy. But um, the other classes you could choose are like Vision Pulse, Overdrive, Glitch, Sparrow. Uh, what those do is you can like shoot a bow, or you can shoot like an energy beam at someone. It's like a super attack that you like left right bumper and you do it's a pretty much an instant kill if you hit someone with it but uh that's pretty neat and um the kill streaks if i were to compare this call of duty to anything i would say it's a little mix between advanced warfare and black ops 2 so like in black ops 2 you have you know how you got like the pick 10 kind of thing uh and your love weapon levels up every now and then you upgrade stuff it's kind of like that, and the way I would say in Modern Warfare, or not Modern Warfare, uh, Advanced Warfare, is you get like the jumping, sliding, and all that stuff. Without the exosuit kind of thing, but you get the jumping and boosting. I didn't really like that, but it's in the game, so I think it's too late to be fix anything about it. Um, they're not just going to remove it, so <laughs> we're just going to have to deal with it. Overall, I think this game is going to be good. At least I have high hopes for it. Um, it's been a while since I've actually done post commentary for a game. It's like when I first started YouTube, I thought I was going to be doing Call of Duty commentaries and then I kind of just moved out of that to do Let's Play and stuff. But um, yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far. Um, usually domination matches last between like 12 to 15 minutes because like today's day one, no one knows what they're doing. And um, so it's like, it does have the same halftime as the few previous CODs, where it's like, if first team to get to 100 points, and then it flips rounds, and then you wrap it up to 200, same thing. And that's pretty neat. Um, I don't really like how round switches, like, if you're losing that badly, there is a very little chance you're going to win anyway, so it's just kind of like catering to the newer players, uh, just like, oh, we're getting smacked by like 100 points. Okay, let's have a round reset, and that's really not going to do anything. Cause I've seen comebacks, but it's just like, for the most part, if you're playing against another team and you're losing by that much, a round like swap is not going to do anything. But um, what can you do? Overall, I would say this game is pretty neat. Um, there's a lot of new things. The graphics are definitely pretty solid for this game. Um, what else? The maps are... Bigger than I would hope, but pretty interesting. And yeah, so I'll let you watch the videos to the end. And there should be more gameplay tomorrow. If you want to play with me, just like send me a message and all that stuff. So I don't know what to say. Just watch the gameplay, and hopefully it's pretty intense. I thought it was a pretty interesting one. 
Um, I definitely carried my team with this one. But um, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think of the beta so far. I do have one other video in the past that was a live commentary. It was on the map EBAC, and that one was a bit smaller of a map, but overall, I think it was pretty solid. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys watch it on your own. And if you would like to ask me any questions or follow me on social media and all that stuff, links are in the description as always. So have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later. Hostile hellstorm overhead. Infantry down. Securing B. Losing Alpha. We're being dominant. Go on the aggressive. Bravo secure. Warfighter, KIA. Hostile UAV above. C secure. Attack UAV, UAV inbound. Eyes on. Establish perimeter at 10,000 feet AGL. UAV inbound. EKIA. Ruin wasted. Friendly Hellstorm is back. Losing Charlie. Superior, my ass. All mission objectives met. Prep for evac.